The Nagasena arm packs a punch, but the real question is, is it magic? Those of us who spend a lot of time on set have found ourselves using magic arms pretty much all the time. It's just a useful little tool to have on your kit. And a magic arm like this, this is a full size, this is a Manfrotto uh, 244, I believe it is, that I use. What's great about this is I can take a super clamp, I can hook this up, I can hook it on door frames, other things, I can put lights, even cameras like that. Magic arms are just one of those things that are so, so useful to have on a set that most of us are gonna end up utilizing them at some point. And the theory behind them is great. You can basically take it and angle and position this however you want. And because of that, the idea of a magic arm on your camera is something that is so, so attractive. I mean, we're always hanging stuff on our cameras. We're hanging wireless monitors. We may be putting monitors themselves, microphones. There's so many things. Maybe you want a light. So many things that if you're doing professional cinematography, you end up hanging on your camera cages as you go along. That a magic arm, in theory, is a great, great thing. The reality is a little different once you get the smaller ones that actually fit in your camera. Obviously, I can't be taking something this big and putting it on a camera like this. It just doesn't make any sense. So I have to use smaller magic arms. And the reality is, at least in my experience, they are usually terrible. I've come across so many crappy, just not good magic arms for my cages. And I've actually had some points where I've had a monitor get smashed, I broke the glass because I had a magic arm that I was, I was going over the day the arm got loose and it swung down and smashed against a tripod and cracked the actual glass of the monitor. So I've always been really, really wary of magic arms for your camera cage until a couple years ago. I had a friend of mine, I was on a set, I was working with him and he introduced me to this. This is the Nugga Cinema Arm. It's a weird name. But man, this thing is really, really impressive. And I got a hold of this and it's just unbelievably well-constructed, just solid metal, it feels so good. But I was amazed at what this did versus all the other cinema lines, arms that I've ever used before. So what I have done here is I've taken a Nugga arm just to show you how powerful this thing is. And I have put a Nugga arm on my camera cage. I have a seven inch Atomus Ninja Flame on here and I went just for the fun of it, I put two full-size Sony brick batteries on there. And as you can see, this thing is perfectly, I'll put it like that, super, super solid. And this is what makes this arm so incredible. It's just so, so strong. So what I wanna do today is talk about this system and let you make a decision whether this might be something that is right for you. The first pro about this straight up is this thing is strong and it is super, super secure, which, Let's be honest, it is the number one, really the only thing you should want in a magic arm. And I have never come across ever, personally, anything that works this good on a camera system. I am not sponsored in any way to say this, this is just my completely honest and unabashed opinion of this particular piece of equipment. What I love about this is that it's so strong, I can put it on there, and let's say maybe I wanna I have a magic arm. I'm gonna lock this in so it's a little tighter. So let's say I have a magic arm. Maybe I want to put it so it comes over like that. I can lock it in. It's on there. It's completely fine. I can move the camera. It's not going to move. What's really cool though, let's say I need to take it for, for whatever reason, I need to move it away from the body of the camera. Well, check this out. I can move it way over here. Lock it in. And look at that. The thing is fully extended. It's got the weight of a seven inch monitor and two full size batteries. And it's just on there. These things are so strong, I will be honest. I know you're not supposed to do this, but I've actually used these as makeshift handles sometimes when I move systems. That's how secure it is. Now, another thing that I really like about it is when they come, the end of it has this little bolt here at the end that you can basically use a wrench you can screw it into your cage and then use your wrench to get that final tighten bolt, which means that when you put this thing on there, it's not coming off. It will not rotate on you, which is awesome when you're putting weight on it. And you know that your equipment is secure. 
When you want to get it off at the end of the day, you just take your wrench, get one little loosen, and it pops right out. It's super easy and super, super convenient. Now, there's one other factor of these that I think is awesome, and that is you can buy these in different uh, modes. One mode has kind of a flat top on it like this that you can just screw traditionally in the quarter inch. But the other one that is awesome is this. This is the AD4000 quick release kit that comes with it. And it's pretty, pretty cool. So if you look here, I can sit here and I can just pull this down and pop out. And you have this little plate, for lack of a better word, that does it. And what happens is you can screw this on the bottom of your monitors and your lights or whatever you have and move it quickly to another system. So if you look here, I have one right here and check this out. I can pop that out, boom, that fast I can go. This is awesome if you have an arm like this on a camera and on a gimbal, for instance. I can literally pop this off, put it on my gimbal, pop it right on, plug in an HDMI cable, be good to go, get my gimbal shot, come back, time to go back to my sticks or whatever. I can sit there, I just pop this down and it pops right on. And boom, it's that fast, it's that easy to get these things on. Really, really helpful when you actually have to do shoot. So it's fast and it's strong, which in my opinion are two things that I look for practically when I'm shooting commercial projects. So I do love this. The only con I would say on this is this. It is unbelievably exp expensive for what it is. I mean, this is not that big of a piece. And this right here, if you get the quick adapter on it, is $207 right now on B&H. Now you can buy it without the adapter and it's $126, but even $126 for this, whew, that is really, really, really expensive for a magic arm. And that's honestly the only con I have is the price. Aside from the price, this is a top, top shelf piece of equipment. And really my conclusion when I come down to it is I have spent a lot of money on magic arms in the past that just didn't work. And for me, if you were out there thinking about magic arms, I would recommend this. Do not waste your money on cheaper magic arms that are crappy because what you'll end up doing is you'll end up spending way more money than you would on one of these and you'll end up buying one of these at the end anyway if you care about your equipment. My monitors, my wireless transmitters, all that stuff are expensive and I wanna have a piece of equipment that I know keeps them safe and protected when I'm on a shoot and I just can't trust other magic arms with this but the Noga Cinema arm, the Noga Cinema arm I should say, I really do believe I can trust. So. Yeah, basically all I have to say, if you really just wanna know what my actual conclusion of this is, I bought one of these, was really reluctant because they're so expensive, and then I ended up buying a second one because it's so useful, I just kind of felt I needed to have one, and that's how much I love these. These are great pieces of equipment. If you can afford to swing the money, I would highly, highly recommend it. All right guys, that's basically it for me. I hope that was helpful. Yeah, go ahead and please leave me any questions or comments down below. If you have anything to say, I'd love to hear from you. Yeah, guys, go out there, keep on shooting, and yeah, I'll talk to you soon.